watching the moment thieves stole his livelihood. This CCTV footage was captured overnight last Tuesday. Burglars clearing almost a whole container in an hour and a half, making off with £19,000 of equipment that tree surgeon Roger Norton needs to do his job. Everything I've got is gone, or everything I had is gone. It's taken years to build all that equipment up. But when I look back at the CCTV and you just throw, see them just chucking it in as if it's worthless and how casual they are about it, yeah, it just fills you full of anger. There's no other real way to explain it. They don't understand the, the implications it has on people, how it makes you feel. After something like this has happened, you've got no motivation, you don't really want to eat, it just makes you feel down, it's horrible. The 26-year-old's equipment was stored in a shipping container on land close to where he lives in Ramplingham. Thieves used an angle grinder to break in and chainsaws, leaf blowers, lubricants and fuel were amongst the items taken. Some of the equipment was uninsured and he's had to put a number of subcontractors out of work. I've had to let a lot of customers down. I've booked a lot of subcontractors up which I've now had to cancel. So yes, yeah, had a knock-on effect all round. Will you take it upon yourself when you had to cancel people or let people down or change people's plans? You know, it comes back on you at the end of the day, although people might be sympathetic or not. You can't just brush it on to somebody else. You feel you have to take the blame for it. So yeah, it does get to you, innit? Rogers asking people to be wary if they're offered chainsaws or other tools on the cheap and has warned that some of the stolen equipment can be tracked. It's dangerous equipment. You have to have a licence to buy it. It's only supposed to be used for aerial use. But it's not so much that. It's the fact that the top handle chainsaws that have been taken are high value and they're easy to sell, which is what I'm most concerned about because the chances are they're long gone by now. But if somebody buys it, if they go and try and get parts for it, it's identifiable, it's got a serial number, I've got all the serial numbers, the police have got all the serial numbers, um, it can certainly all be traced. So it's not just a case of buying something cheap, the chances are you can get in trouble for having stolen goods. Roger has managed to continue working, but now he's calling for anyone with information to contact police on 101 to help catch the thieves who have devastated the business he's worked hard for six years to build. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Ramplingham.